there has been a lot of talk in academic theological circles about what is peace building? What is Catholic peace building? How do we do it? What, how do we understand it? And uh, what has been interesting to me has been to, to watch literally a, a field that once was thought of as a very narrow field. Um, it's what you do when two parties are, you might start it when people are, uh, two sides are about to go to war and you might try to do conflict management or conflict resolution that avoids war. Or you might pay attention uh, during a violent conflict to try to um, protect civilians or stop the conflict or the violence and so on. And then a lot of, of uh, thought about peace building has gone into what you do after there is a violent conflict and uh, there's a recognition that that's a complex and long process. But I think in the last decade that the idea of what it means to build peace has become a very deep and rich and wide uh, tapestry that includes uh, everything from, um, from peace education to uh, resistance to war to uh, advocacy to try to pull uh, the world back from the sort of perpetual brink of war. Um, and I think in uh, many of the places where um, Mary Nolan Pox Christie work, there are very concrete examples of the many different ways that peace building on the ground happens. So uh, sports and peace programs in Haiti or South Sudan, um, accompaniment uh, programs in Burma or in uh, uh, Palestine and other many other parts of the world, um, very concrete peace negotiations and um, it's been interesting to me as, um, as uh, Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army have gotten so much publicity with this Kony 2012 uh, YouTube video and so on. Um, it's all. It's been really uh, interesting to to also pay attention to the fact that for the last 15 years, Pax Christi people in the region have been building a relationship with the Lord's Resistance Army leaders to bring to, and successfully brought them to the negotiating table in 2005 and six. The the negotiations didn't didn't succeed, but it was a long, slow process of bringing people to resolve conflict in a different way. Um, peace weeks in uh, the UK and Belgium and in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or um, work in response to um, the violence done by mining in places like Peru and Guatemala and many other, uh, El Salvador, and on and on and on. Peace, the work for peace is very broad and very deep and um, has a uniqueness depending on a particular context and a particular time and uh, the opportunity that, that, um, that different communities have. Woven into Jesus' story from beginning to end certainly was a commitment to focus on peace. We, uh, I think, uh, identify in many ways his mission with peace on, on earth. That's, you know, Peace on earth is what we talk about. It's what we wish for. It's what we dream for, dream about. It's um, it's a deep peace. It's a peace that's rooted in justice, shalom. It it's a, an essential part of the invitation to discipleship. Is an invitation to be about the making of peace. We say we say peace very easily to each other. Peace be with you all the time. Peace be with you and also with you. We call Jesus the Prince of Peace. We listen to the promise, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And we think we believe it, although I think we, it still um, is, a, is a challenging idea. What does that mean? We, we try to follow uh, mandate, Jesus' mandates, love your enemy, turn the other cheek. Um, if your neighbor has something against you, leave your gifts at the altar and go deal with that before you move into the celebration of life. Um, 
And, and then I think we're really puzzled by Jesus' statement, I come not to bring peace, but the sword. What does that mean? What does it mean? I think wrapped around uh, the scriptures, wrapped around Jesus' story most particularly, is a, is a yearning for peace, a hunger for peace, a recognition that in, in, in many ways peace has to do the, the, the reign of God, the fulfillment of the promise will um, also be about peace. And so I think the challenge of both thinking about the many different ways to build peace, but also what peace is, is an important um, piece of work for us to be, to be um, looking at in these times.